Hey friends and fellow accomplices, I'm Joe Karleski, the super brave teacher, and today we are going to be talking about the best parts, plural, of teaching. I get it. I'm an eternal optimist. I'm Mr. Growth Mindset. I'm going to change anything into the positive, and I'm okay with that. Now, that does not mean I don't have hard days. That does not mean that this is not hard, hard, hard intentional work, being a teacher, especially being a kindergarten teacher in the middle of February. February, snow, children, think about it. It sounds like this. Whose glove is this? Whose glove is this? Whose glove is this? And then a kid comes up to you and he's like, wait, is it pink? Yup, it sure is pink. Nope, not mine. Yes, that is my life these days. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about the beautiful, beautiful parts of being a teacher. So here it goes. The best parts of being a teacher. And in my case, a proud gay teacher. Number one, I get to design an inclusive, super brave space that invites kids, families, and community members to take off their armor. If even for just a moment, and be who they are. Number two, I get to have fun. I get to sing and dance and be myself all day long with the kids. And guess what? The more I get to be myself, the more they see that they get to be themselves. And it is so much fun. Number three, I get to be the teacher I never had. I get to be the teacher I always wish I had. Number four, Especially with kids, the metaphorical paint of their painting of their lives, the paint is still wet. In fact, there are so many paint colors that they don't even know exist, and I, as their super brave teacher, get to show them the beautiful colors of life. Number five, I get to be vulnerable with kids and with parents. All day long I tell kids, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm working on this. And with parents I get to say, you know what? This guy is not a Betty Crocker teacher. You will not see your kids being sent home with little thumbprints of their kindergarten year. But I do know that I get to impact your child's life deeply, especially their heart. Number six, I get to teach children about themselves, especially the need for self-love, self-respect, self-esteem, self-advocacy. All of those things I get to do every day. Number seven, I get to help kids with forming beautiful habits from the get-go. Beautiful habits like being proactive, beginning with the end in mind, thinking win-win, those seven habits of happy kids, but also the habit of being mindful, the habit of being kind, the habit of being who you are. Number eight, the best part of teaching for me is that moment when the kids don't need me anymore. Yeah, that moment when they realize that they don't need me. They're not codependent on me to be successful, to be who they are. They get to be independent and they get to be interdependent, but they're never codependent on me. And they get to realize like, hey, you're a great guy, but I don't need you anymore. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So there you go, friends. My top eight reasons, four plus four is eight. I'm still very much in the teaching. Um, what are your favorite parts of teaching? If you're a teacher, what's your favorite parts of teaching? If you're a student watching this, what are your favorite aspects of your teachers? What did your favorite teachers do for you? Let me know, leave a comment below, because you are amazing. You are enough. You are loved. I see you, I value you. No one can play your part. I'm gonna keep saying that again and again. And Joel, I see you. I love you, I know you, I value you. Keep doing what you do, keep loving teaching, keep loving being an inspiration for others, because you do it well, so keep doing it. Bye friends. If you want